hey, I got this cool mandolin I just had repaired. It was splitting here. Oh, I guess you can kind of see. It's hard. It's pretty hard to see, but that was fixed. It's kind of fun to see how all the strips come together right there. And there's the front. It's got probably an old, uh, what's that old plastic called? I forget. Pick guard. So this is, they call it a round back or a potato bug mandolin. Hey. Hey. So I don't really know how to play mandolin very well at all, but um, let's just see what we got for strings. <laughs> that looks like a G. There's another G. So you got two G's. Cool, next string. That's a D. So I just had this set up professionally. Here, all right, so we got G's and D's. That makes a power chord. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, the next string. That looks like an A. And another A. And then we got our, uh, an E. What do you know? So, it's not tuned like a guitar. Um, if I have to try to learn an instrument, I usually pick out a major scale. Cool. So, that'd be a G major scale. climbing my back. <laughs> ah, I just found a G chord. So if you grab the first string at the third fret and the second string at second fret, strum all strings, you got a G chord. That would make this a C and a D. Yikes. And a G. No. What am I doing? There it is. Pretty small. So that must be a G. Well, we'll be learning more, more of the mandolin.
Got to learn some other chords. C. Well, maybe I'll, I probably have a book up there on the shelf. <laughs> All right, that's crazy, man. But uh, yeah, this thing is old, but it's in great shape after it's been restored. It costs some money. But, uh, you know, it's either let it be a decoration or make it playable. And I want to play it. So, uh, yeah, the tuners work great. Wow. I really like it. It's very old and very cool. I'm so glad. My drummer, Luke, gave it to me, by the way. And I gave him some drum hardware. So we had a good trade there. All right. Keep rocking. <laughs> 